Guardian did a, a report in 2015. It looked at investment inflows into Africa in 2014. And those investment inflows into Africa were to the tune of $288 billion that was invested into Africa in 2014. 188,400 jobs were created. That translates to 679,000 US dollars to create one job from foreign direct investment. Those are the facts, ladies and gentlemen. Number three, you know, when you go and you negotiate with someone, you never go and negotiate and say, I am in desperate need. And I struggle when I hear Zimbabweans say that we are in desperate need of foreign direct investment because you basically turned around and said, look, take whatever you want. So from a negotiating point of view, you've never, you never negotiate from that perspective. So those that believe that foreign direct investment uh, is the, the one and only answer to the Zimbabwean economy, please go ahead and proceed. I will not stop. But in the same way that I will not stop you from promoting foreign direct investment, please don't stop me from executing my own mandate. Because part of my mandate requires putting in place measures to fulfill a promise that my boss made of creating 2,265,000 jobs. So I will still continue, but I'm not going to say, look, uh, if foreign direct investment is going to bring jobs, brilliant, let it come through. I also want to start off by saying Dr. Kadega took a lot of my presentation away uh, when he talked about the pillars of uh, the legislation. And uh, I would like to thank him again for, for re-emphasizing this title that I've given myself as the new sheriff in town. And it is a deliberate title. I am not here to discuss or negotiate whether indigenization is good or bad. It is an act, it is the law of the land, I am here to implement it. It is as simple as that. I want to also, before I go into my presentation, talk about a few other issues. Uh, elite indigenization. Ladies and gentlemen, I've heard the statement that if you want to hide something from a black man, put it in writing. And I think I want to change that statement and say if you want to hide anything from a Zimbabwe, put it in writing. There is absolutely nothing new that I have talked about in these so-called new frameworks. It's still the same legislation, Indigenization and Economic Empowerment Act, Chapter 1433. Still the same subsidiary legislation, still the same statutory instruments, still the same general notices. And the reason why people are saying, wow, this is good, is very simple, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sorry to have to say this, is because people are not reading the act. And I'm sorry to have to say this to you as the captains of industry. A lot of you are actually not reading the act. You are actually re relying on the media to inform you about the act. 